Hi, I'm Dr. Nicholas from Cold Skin Specialist. I'm going to talk about vitiligo. Vitiligo is a skin condition that presents as white spots and patches on the skin. This is due to a progressive loss of pigment melanin, which gives us our skin color. The loss of pigments occur when pigment cells, namely melanocytes, are destroyed and melanin cannot be produced. Vitiligo can be focal, segmental, and generalized. Common sites affected in vitiligo include back of the hand, fingers, elbow, knees, around the eyes, mouth, nose, body folds, armpit, and groins, as well as face. Vitiligo can also develop over an area of injury, such as a cut or burn. Hair within the affected patch may be white too. The cause of vitiligo remain unknown actually. However, people with vitiligo may have associated autoimmune diseases such as thyroid disease, pernicious anemia, and diabetes mellitus. Yes, there are several forms of treatment are available but the response to treatment varies with each person and site affected. No, vitiligo is not contagious. First, we have topical medications. Topical treatments either with steroidal or non-steroidal creams are generally effective in many patients. Regular monitoring by your doctor is necessary to prevent side effects. Second, phototherapy. We have narrow band ultraviolet B. Treatment is a promising treatment option for vitiligo. Narrow band ultraviolet B phototherapy is administered up to three times per week. The purpose of this treatment is to induce repigmentation of the affected skin. It may take one year of treatment to achieve satisfactory repigmentation. Patients have the option to either in clinic treatment or treatment using home-based phototherapy device. Third, corticosteroid treatment. Corticosteroids are often prescribed for patients with active diseases. Discuss with your doctor about the side effect of long-term use of corticosteroid treatment. Fourth, we have surgical options. Surgical transplants are meant for patients with stable vitiligo who fail to respond to topical treatment and phototherapy. Stable vitiligo means no new lesions or progression of lesions over 6 to 12 months. This option works best for patients with segmental or focal vitiligo. The surgical approach includes skin tissue and cellular grafting. Fifth, Cosmetic Camouflage Cover-up cosmetic provide good color match and camouflage of vitiligo lesions. 6. Sunscreens Skin surfaces affected by vitiligo are very prone to sunburn as they lack protective pigments. It is advisable for patients to use broad-spectrum sunscreen with high protection factor. However, do consult with your doctor in cold skin specialist regarding the use of sunscreen over the affected skin area as it may interfere with the efficacy of certain treatment.